Now let us see the operation of 3 transistor DRAM. In a 3 transistor DRAM architecture, there are 3 NMOS transistors. So let us see the diagram first. This is a diagram for 3 transistor DRAM which contains 3 transistors T1, T2 and T3. And here it contains one bit line. This is bit line bar which is complement. And to write the data, there is word line which is for writing. And for reading there is another word line that is word line read. And here N1 indicates node and C is the capacitor where data is stored. So read this particular point here only T2 is used for storing the binary data in association with its parasitic gate capacitance. So this is parasitic gate capacitor. Again here also we do the same thing of reading and writing. So let us see how to perform write operation first. In order to perform write operation, activate this word line write. So in order to activate, make it as 1 so that the transistor T1 will be on. Remember this point here, whenever T1 is on, T3 should be off. These two are vice versa. Why? Because this is for writing whereas this is for reading. You can't perform both the operations simultaneously. So as I am performing write operation, I am taking here as 1 and this word line read will be 0. If word line read is 0, this transistor T3 will be off. Remember this point, if it is off, it will act as open circuit. If it is on, it will act as short circuit. And as this particular T3 is off, there is no use of this particular transistor T2. As T1 is on, there exists a path which is short circuit path. So the data which is present in bit line can be written into this particular gate capacitance C. The same thing I have mentioned it here. So take word line as 1 and word line read as 0. Why? Because both the operations simultaneously I can't perform. If you want to write the data, make the word line write as 1 so that T1 is on. So that T1 is on. If word line write is 1, read will be 0. So T3 will be off. So T3 will be off. See the equivalent diagram. T1 is on which is short circuit. T3 is off which is open circuit. Now the data which is present in or on the bit line will be written into parasitic gate capacitor C. So this bit line data will be written into this capacitor C that is writing is done. And this is the highlights T1 is on, T3 is off. So here we are least bothered about T2. Why? Because this particular T3 is off. That is nothing but open circuit. We may get a doubt regarding how the bit line holds some data. It is done by using pre-charged capacitor. So in the previous video I told you that it should hold some amount of data which can be either 0 or 1. So this can be done by means of pre-charged capacitor. That particular capacitor should be charged to some amount of voltage that is VDD. So let me show you that one. This is how it is done. This bit line is connected to some capacitor C1 which is pre-charged capacitor means it is charged to some amount of voltage which is logic 1 also called as VDD. So this data which is present in BL that is bit line can be written into the capacitor that is C. This is all about the write operation. Now let us perform a reading operation. So if you want to perform read, make word line write as 0 and word line read as 1. If you make it as 1, this particular T3 will be on and T1 will be off, that is open circuit. If you want to read the data which was stored previously in parasitic gate capacitor, then make word line read as 1, that is T3 is on and T1 is off. So as there exists a path, as there exists a path, you can read the data which is present in this capacitor, that is C. So for this, this particular transistor T2 can be either on, it can be either off. So let us try to analyze both the cases. So if this particular node N1, if it is 1, we already know in order to turn on transistor T2, 
you, you have to apply 1 at gate terminal if you want to turn it off you have to apply 0 so i'm trying to analyze both the cases node n1 is equal to 1 node n1 is equal to 0 if n1 is equal to 1 this particular transistor t2 will be on so as this is on there exists a path directly to the ground so bit line 0 i mean bit line complement will be 0 why because this is connected directly to ground now if i consider node n1 as 0 if it is 0 this particular transistor will be off off is nothing but open circuit so it looks something like this it is open circuit so this bl holds the data which is pre-charged so earlier i told you like if there is any bit line in order to hold the data it should be connected to some amount of capacitor so here also the same story exists it will be connected to some capacitor so that it holds some value i am considering that value as 1 the same thing i have indicated it here case number 1 case number 2 this is when node n1 is equal to 1 this is when node n1 is equal to 0 let us do a small recap for reading operation first case this is 1 if this is 1 the transistor t2 will be on if it is on it will act as a short circuit so this bl bar will be connected directly to ground so that's the reason i'm getting bl bar as 0 next when node n1 is equal to 0 this one will be off off is nothing but open circuit it looks something like this as this bl bar is connected to some capacitor so it holds some data that is 1 so i'm getting bl bar is equal to 1 when n1 is equal to 0 read the same thing if n1 is equal to 1 t2 is on now the capacitor starts discharging why because it is connected directly to the ground if n1 is equal to 0 t2 is off off is nothing but it is floating state and bl bar as it is connected to some amount of capacitor it will hold the pre-charged value which is 1 it looks something like this so this is the working of 3 transistor dram